This week's story is Noah and the Floating Zoo. I think everybody knows this story, but you can find it in the Bible, in the very first book in the Bible, in Genesis. Noah was a good man. He was the most innocent man of his time and obeyed God. Noah and his wife had three sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth, and they were all married. The Lord saw that the people on the earth were very wicked. All they thought about was doing bad things. There were also large giants called Nephilim, who were wicked rulers. When God saw the evil being done, he was sorry he'd made people and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will destroy all the human beings that I made and destroy every animal, bird and anything that crawls on the earth. But God decided to spare Noah as he did what was good. So God told Noah, build a boat of cypress wood for yourself, make rooms in it and cover it inside and outside with tar. It will be a large box boat or ark, 450 feet long, 70 feet wide and 45 feet high. Make an 18 inch opening around the top of the boat and put a door in the side of the boat. It will need an upper, a middle and a lower deck. The boat will be large enough to hold your family and two of every living creature, male and female. You must gather food of every kind to store on the boat as food for you and the animals. Noah did everything that God commanded him and started building the huge boat. Living in a land where there was such little rain, people just laughed at Noah and his family. Noah warned them of the great flood God was going to send, but they just mocked him. It took Noah many, many years to build the boat, but he never gave up. Once the boat was finished, they gathered the food they and the animals would need. Then Noah and his family went into the ark. God then gathered the animals he wanted to spare and sent them to Noah in pairs, one male, and one female. God sent one pair of each unclean animal to Noah. Unclean animals were those that were not good for humans to eat. And God sent seven pairs of any animal that humans could eat for food. God sent all kinds of wild animals and farming animals. They went into the ark in twos. A place was found for each animal, large and small. The animals need a, would need a lot of food to keep them alive when the flood came. They were put in pens on the lower, middle and upper decks of the ark that Noah had made. Seven days later, the flood came. God closed the door of the ark. Clouds in the sky poured out heavy rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Underground springs split open and poured out water. The water continued to rise until it was more than 20 feet above the mountains. Only Noah, his family and the animals on board survived. The waters to continued to cover the earth for 150 days, but those on board the ark had plenty to eat. God stopped the rain and the underground springs and made a wind blow over the earth. The waters started going down. Noah sent out a raven to see if it could find land, but it could not. Then he sent out a dove, but it came back to the boat as it could not find land. Seven days later, Noah sent out the dove again, and that evening it came back to him with a fresh olive leaf in its mouth. Seven days later, he sent the dove out again, but this time it did not come back. 
Noah removed the covering of the boat and saw that the land was dry. A few weeks later, the land was dry enough for those on board the ark to leave. A big rainbow filled the sky as a sign that God would never flood the whole earth again. Noah built an altar to the Lord and made sacrifices. The Lord was pleased with these sacrifices and promised, I will never again destroy every living thing on the earth as I did this time. God told Noah to release the animals, to go and breed and fill the earth again. They came out of the ark one kind after another. God promised, as long as the earth continues, there will be planting and harvest, cold and hot, summer and winter, day and night, and they will not stop. And that's the end of our story this week. Don't forget to look out for the story next week, and there are more activities for you to do on the website after the story.